Hi guys, it's Becky at Babes in Hairland. Today we're sharing this cute triple stacked pullback. To begin with, you're going to need to part the hair up on top, off on the side, or you can do it even right in the center, and then down to each ear. Okay, then over here on the left side, you're going to make another part coming down to the tip of the ear, the front of the ear, basically. You're gonna want this to have the most hair in it out of the sections you'll be making over on the left side. Then you're gonna be making a four strand braid, so divide that hair in half, and then that section in half on the right, pass it over, and then under, and then pass that far left section under, and then over. That right section goes over, and then under, and that bottom left section goes under, then over. So you're going to continue this process down until your braid reaches about the center of the back of the head. You also are going to want to pull on those sides of the braid to make them extra loopy and big. Now you're going to, you can adjust this as you go through the style, but you want to try and get those edges so that they are um, separated from the center of the braid so that it is loopier. Once you know it reaches the middle of the head, temporarily secure it with a clip and then move over here to the right side and do the exact same thing. Make another four strand braid. And again, pull on those edges to make it loopy. But don't worry if it's not uh, perfect at this point. Then join those two four strand braids together with a clear elastic in the center back of the head. Okay, then back over here to the left side, you're gonna wanna part out another section of hair, leave a little bit near the face, and that's where you want the smallest amount of hair. Now you'll make a fishbone braid, so you divide it into uh, two pieces, take a small section from the right top and cross it over to the bottom left, then the bottom left, cross, cross over to the top, and you just continue this pattern, taking small pieces of hair from each side, so it makes an X pattern through the center of the braid and you're going to continue down braiding until it also reaches the center back of the head. Then over on the right side, you're going to do the exact same thing, make another fishtail braid. Again, leave just a tiny bit of hair along the face because you're gonna be adding one more braid on top of this. But again, just make that fishbone braid and pancake it just a little bit, not too much, but you don't wanna have it be extremely tight either. So make it so it will run right down the center of your four strand braid and hide that strand um, in the four strand braid that goes straight through the center. So you wanna lay it right on top of the middle there and with another clear elastic, join those two braids together so they rest right on top of it and adjust it as you want. But again, when you're all done with this, you can go and adjust it further. Then lastly, here near the face, you're going to take this last little section of hair and again, I find water helps to cut down the flyaways. Combine all of that hair into a regular three strand braid. You could do a rope twist here too, or another four strand braid, whatever you want, but I wanted that tiny micro braid laying here on top. Again, we've just sped most of this up because uh, we assume you know how to braid these different kinds of braids. But as you're braiding, kind of angle it so it lays right down the center of that fishbone braid. And once you reach the center back of the head, just secure it temporarily uh, with a small little clip. And then as before, over here on the right side, repeat the exact same process with that little bit of hair near the face, create another three strand braid, little micro braid. Then 
join the two little micro braids together up on top of everything else with another clear elastic. Pull that clip out as you wrap that elastic around. And then the rest of the style is just to adjust the braids and pancake things as you want. I wanted those four strand braid loops from the very bottom to um, show really well so I kept tugging on things until they laid how I wanted and that's really all there is to this just adjust it until the braids look like you want and that's it so um, we've got a final look at the hairstyle we added a pretty little flower clip to cover up the elastics and this is the final product so very pretty you could curl the hair down below um, to make it even fancier and here are some pictures of the final product so thanks for watching please subscribe let us know what you think and we will see you next time thanks bye bye